Genghis Khan had successfully breached the Great Wall of China. He led his forces to the greatest prize in the East, the capital city of Zhongdu. He besieged the city, knowing that its inhabitants could not hold out forever. Bearing down on the gleaming capital of Zhongdu, Genghis Khan raised the black banner of war on his historic enemy, the Qin Dynasty. To take the heavily garrisoned capital, the Mongols would have to starve its army by eliminating Chengdu's suppliers. But first, the Khan directed his warriors to raid Qin buildings and villages surrounding Chengdu. Word of the army's wealth would spread, compelling Mongol soldiers from the north to join the fight, seeking spoils of their own. Khan's successful raids, Mongol settlers and soldiers arrived to join his army. Hey, 
With his numbers steadily growing, the Khan turned his attention to the capital. He sought to starve Chengdu's army by cutting off its suppliers. left the Shunyi market in ruins, ensuring the village could no longer send supplies to Chengdu. In destroying the supplying markets, the Mongols denied Chengdu critical supplies, leaving its garrison weakened. Trader made it safely into the city and reported on the Mongols' numbers and movements. Chengdu would now allocate any military supplies it received to rallying counterattacks on the steppe invaders.
Despite the Mongols' efforts to stop them, enough Qin traders had entered Chengdu to fully resupply its military. Choosing their moment, the Qin launched a counterattack.
Mongols put down the Qin counterattack. But another would soon come if Qin traders continued to resupply Chengdu's military. Despite the Mongols' efforts to stop him, enough Qin traders had entered Chengdu to fully resupply its military. Choosing their moment, the Qin launched a counterattack.
Jerte bot ak kech benim. In raising the market at Fangshen, the Mongols had severed a critical supply line to the capital. As the Mongols continued to sabotage the city's supplies, Chengdu's garrison grew weaker by the day. Genghis Khan's army struck down the trader but was headed to resupply Chengdu. For every trader killed, Chengdu lost several days' worth of supplies. 
The Mongols were systematically choking the city and starving its garrison. efforts to stop them. Enough Qin traders had entered Chengdu to fully resupply its military. Choosing their moment, the Qin launched a counter-attack. Without hesitation, the Khan's warriors put their torches to the market at Da Sing, snuffing out weeks of Chongdu's supplies.
The market at Tongzhou was set aflame, and with it many vital supplies intended for the city. With Chengdu devastated by starvation, the walls of the great Qin capital were devoid of soldiers, and only a diminished garrison remained. Desperate and isolated, Zhang Du could no longer resist. The time had come for Genghis Khan to launch his assault on the city. Yeah. 
Genghis Khan unleashed the wrath of his Mongol warriors on the heart of the beleaguered city.
Chin monument was put to flame. Mongol victory was within reach.
the city was ready to fall in the wake of the destruction wrought by the Mongols. Just 
Tändige Boden da. Tändige Jung, hier ist der Boden. Ammer, weil du, der Jungen. Wie du dreht, weißt du?
Zhongdu fell to the wrath of Genghis Khan's warriors, yielding great riches for the Mongol Empire. The sacking of Zhongdu would be remembered as one of Genghis Khan's most devastating victories. But this was just the beginning of his quest to create a global empire under Mongol rule. <laughs>